Did I look like a deer in headlights the last two videos? Me? <laughs> hey there, it's Paige and it's time to make up the page. And my nails are getting way too long. I mean, now, are you a long nail person or do you like short nails? Because I kind of like short nails. Either. I mean, they make good ASMR, but they're too long. Anyway, today's video we are talking single eyeshadows. And I have a lot. I'm looking at my desk. There's a lot. So I'm going to talk favorites, and then I'm also going to talk kind of my collection. So, two for today. Because I have some that I haven't used yet, but they're definitely pretty. And they need to be mentioned. So let's jump right in. So I'm going to grab my drawer. Because I have a collection. Favorite single shadow. The ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. And you can see I have quite a lot. Wait, there's another one. Hang on. There's more. Got another one. It just doesn't fit in the drawer. Although I do have one Jelly Mud shadow, which I really love. But yeah, ColourPop Super Shock shadows. First of all, they're like $6 each. So, that's why I have so many. But also they come satin finish, they come glitter finish, they come matte. I have these two are mattes here. I'll zoom in and see if you can better see. I have some exclusive, like the birthday ones, like this one here, and this one here, birthday ones. I've got some of the Disney collection ones. The one thing with ColourPop is, like, they come out with products so often that pretty much most of their stuff's, like, limited edition. Like, if you see it once, you should buy it because you probably won't see it again. Just saying. Like... I love Colourpop, but their stuff is like, restocking is iffy. But yeah, so Super Shocks are a big favorite of mine. Now let's move on. I have another drawer of single shadows. Everything just shifted in the drawer. I do have a Colourpop for shadow. Which one is this? Oh, look at this. Hang on, zooming in. Oh, you can see my camera. Hello. Yeah, it's a super bright red. And I love that one. Speaking of reds, I got this at a makeup convention and I cannot find it anywhere else. And I really wish I could. Because look at that. It's a red, but it's got gold flex to it. It's called B95 Chili Pepper. It's like one of my favorite reds. And then we've got, oh, we gotta talk this brand. Sugar Pill. I don't know if their packaging is still the same as this, but these are, this is the best black eyeshadow I've ever used. This is Sugar Pill's Bulletproof. They do still make this one. So you can still get it. It's just stunning. It's super black. I'll open it so you can see better. Super duper black. Oh, you can see where my brush was in it. That's fun. But yeah, this is the best black shadow I've used. And then this one they don't make anymore, but they have another shade similar called Tokyo. This was Dolly Pop. It's like a super hot pink. And then this one I got in Ipsy. It's a Lisa Frank X Glamour Dolls. This is like my favorite transition shade for the eyes. You can see why are all of them coming out like that on the camera. But yeah, you can see I've used it quite a bit because it's just so good. I do have another ColourPop fresh shadow. This one is Rascal. It's like a 
I want to say chartreuse, but I don't know if it's coming off chartreuse in the camera. And that one, and then another brand I want to talk about that I have quite a lot of, literally, all of these are from the same brand. It's the Balm. And this is just, I have all of these I got in Ipsy as well. I think that's why I like Ipsy so much is because I get things that like, I get things from brands I normally wouldn't buy from. One and two. They send me little eyeshadows and it's just like easier to use than like sending a palette. Sometimes it's easier to travel with these. But I have a bunch of these. This one is Autobomb. Just looks like that. They come like in these cute little packages. And then I've got <laughs> their name just their names are funny. Meet Matt Trimoni. I just dropped it. And it's just some of them are a little tiny, like this one is really small. Some of them are bigger than others, this one. Just their packaging, it's like a little book, but it's an eyeshadow, it's so cute. Oh, the shade. Look at this one. They're just like little books that you can use open. Whoa, check out that one. They're just, they're fun. I use these, I actually have used most of these, I will say. Except this one, this one I haven't used yet. But I should use it, because look how cute that is. So I have those. I have, this one was exclusive to Ipsy. They did a collaboration with Tetris. The video game. Yes, the video game. And the shade is just so cool though. Another, like, chartreuse kind of color. Called Game Night. Although it looks a little bit more, I don't know, is it chartreuse or is it gold? It's coming off as kind of both. Another company I love, I'm going to be talking about them more in my pigments video, but Naked Cosmetics is another great brand. This one is Mother Nature 05. This is their pressed pigments. And then this one I've never heard of the brand, Laura Sanchez, but it's just a pretty color. I got that one in Ipsy as well. I think, I'm trying to think, the only ones that haven't come from Ipsy are Colourpop and Sugar Pill. The rest are all from Ipsy. Oh boy, I have the Ipsy collection. I've been getting Ipsy, I'm trying to think how long. I want to definitely more than three years because I have quite the collection of Ipsy stuff. So, I've also got this one from Ipsy. This is Suva Beauty. I really want to try their Hydra liners. I don't even know if they sell single shadows anymore. Honestly, not sure about that. Colored Rain, I know so singles, and I really want to try more from their brand. I'll open it so you can see if it opens. I should really use this one. This is stunning. Then I've got Nomad. This one I've used a bit. And you can see because the, the lettering's coming off. Hey, I can see myself. Hi. It's not even a mirror, it's just like a... There's not even a mirror in here. It's just reflective. Then I've got two from IBY. And I never heard of IBY before, but these little... First of all, this package is so cute. I've got two of them. And then you open it up, and the color is like... Boom. Look at that. And then I also have this shade. 
This one I don't use as much just because I'm not into brown eyeshadow that much. Not my thing. I like color. Color, color, color. And I have the Jeffrey and Shane Emerald Green Shade. I had to buy this because I love green eyeshadow. And look, I mean, look at it. You can see the viewfinder. Look at that. Stunning. And then actually, in this month's Ipsy, my January Ipsy, I got a Violet Voss single shadow. This one's impossible to open. Jeez. Okay, I got it. I mean, look at that. That's so pretty. And am I missing any? Hmm. I don't think so. I think I covered them all. I thought this video was going to be a lot longer. But no. It was pretty fast. I think I just kind of got in a good flow. And also, I'm not wearing a sweater today, but I am wearing a Sherpa. And I have a Sherpa addiction. I haven't counted how many Sherpas I have, but if I had to guess more than 10. Uh, oh, I didn't mention what um, I'm wearing today. So, Sherpa is actually from Shein. It's super cute cozy. I mean, you cannot go wrong with a hair, but uh, my earrings they're a little hard to see because they're very dainty. They're from So Cute Jewels. I am loving their stuff lately as it, you can tell because I've worn them in two videos now. And then for eyeliner I tried this one. I got it in Ipsy and I tried it and I'm not 100% sold on it. And I'll go more in depth in my favorite eyeliners video, but it's Tarte Sex Kitten. I like the packaging though. Look at the little kitty. Oh, you can't see his face. There we go. Look at the little kitty. So yeah. Not in love with it, but it did the job of just giving me a wing today. So yeah. So yeah, that's today's video. And it went a lot quicker than I thought it would. Which I'm very surprised at. <laughs> um, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below what are some of your favorite eyeshadows. They don't have to be singles. Just any eyeshadow in general. Just let's chat in the comments. Have fun. <laughs> um, so next video we are going to be talking either pigments or liquid shadows. I haven't quite decided which one I'm going to do first yet. There might be a haul snuck into this week's videos. We'll see. And yeah, that is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye!